Hey everyone, hope you guys are having a great day. Today we're gonna to be going over the daily and weekly Bitcoin charts. I'll be giving you guys some fun day trades and make sure if you guys want to, you guys can copy along and copy these technicals just to see what I'm seeing if I'm away for whatever reason. Now here we have the weekly Bitcoin chart. I'm going to zoom in just a little bit so we can just get from 2020 to 2022. Let's spread that out a little bit more. Now what we're gonna do is add a couple of Fibonacci levels. I'm gonna start the first one down here, go up towards the all-time high of 69,000. Nice support around here, nice support. Resistance currently, we did have some support around here and we did have support there. So this Fibonacci level on the weekly chart has been very productive for us. It's something you guys should probably add onto your own charts if you want. Now, next we're gonna add one more Fibonacci. We've done the long-term fibs. Let's do the short-term right here, June 21st of 2021. Let's bring that up to 69,000. And we're just gonna be looking to see if anything overlaps here. We can see one overlap right there and another overlap up here at 53,000. So let's zoom in a little bit going forward. There we are. Right here, it, it's doubled up. This is gonna be a much harder level of resistance for us to break out above. So currently, that's gonna be a little bit of a trick for us. You can still buy, you can still hold. There's nothing really wrong with holding right now. I'm holding a lot. But you wanna be very careful. If we do start to see a reversal, you wanna make sure that if we do break out of this little uptrend, you guys are safe and have some stop losses in place. We currently have this uptrend. Let's add another trend on, on the top here. And voila. A nice easy consolidation period where we do not want to break down below this trend line and we definitely do not want to break down below the, the, the lows of last summer. That'd be catastrophic. That would lead to a death cross here with the 20 week moving average in the 50. The last few times that's happened, crash. Last few times it happened, crash. We do not want to see that happen again. It would just lead to catastrophe. Uh, Lots of great buying opportunities, but if you're holding during that fall, you will just feel very, very sad. Very, very sad. Now, the thing that could really hurt Bitcoin right now going forward, since it is in a consolidation period, it looks fine for now, is this Russia-Ukraine war. The news keeps on getting mixed, you know, very mixed results you get from the media right now. You know, take everything you hear with a grain of salt. If war is actually declared, then you might want to, you know, sell off some crypto just to be safe about it because everybody else will be doing it as well. It will affect the crypto markets going forward. Now let's look at the daily chart and see if we can find anything else there. Let's put that in the auto. Let's stress that out a little bit more now. We have this previous head and shoulders that we had a few weeks ago. We broke down below it. It was a pretty, you know, pretty massive head and shoulders here. Shoulder, head, shoulder. We've broken down now. And now we've surged back up thanks to the help of some whales here. Now, there are two trend lines you can place down here to find this uptrend. The first one is a little bit more aggressive and you're going to be using the wicks. The wicks, wick one, wick two. The first one is from January 24th. The second one is from February 3rd. You see a nice uptrend right here. If you don't wanna use the wicks and you wanna use the body of the candles, it's gonna look a little bit nicer, but it might not help you out as much, but it's still useful. There you go. So this is a more gradual one. This is going to be, help you out a little bit more. In case we break down, maybe we'll just dip, and then this will be the real one that we have to watch out for. So here are your, op, you know, your possibilities going forward. And I'll just show you the difference. This one, good shorting opportunity to bring it back down here. Then you could buy if you wanted to or sell some here, rebuy it for a lower price. It's up to you guys how you want to play this out. We're very close to having our first golden cross with a 20-day moving average crossing over the 50. It's been a while since that's happened. Let's go back in time. 20 crossing over the 50, boom right here. It led to some good times after a period of consolidation. Hopefully we can have a strong move like that going forward. Again, just be careful of this Russian-Ukraine conflict going on. It will not lead to good things as far as any of the markets are concerned. All right, especially since the Russians own a lot of crypto, if their economy starts to sink, they will sell that crypto for food, money. You know what I mean? Now, one of the high volatility coins you guys should be thinking about putting on your watch list as far as day trading is concerned, one of them is ACH here. It's been doing pretty well over the past three days. It's actually gone up around 45%. Look at that, 48%. And the highs, it was actually up about 60%. This thing did break out above this level of resistance here. It's looking pretty darn nicely. We'll see if it manages to close above it in the next six hours and 52 minutes. If it does, this is going to be another great buying opportunity. But I would spend a lot of my time on the 15 and five minute charts. You can currently see it's in a nice period of consolidation. If I wanted to take that off, I might be waiting to play that breakout right there. Or maybe if it does break down below 
about 61 cents or so, I can actually open up a short position and make some good money that way. But there's a perfect opportunity to make some money day trading this one going forward today. The next one we have is Super Farm. This one's been doing pretty well. It broke above the 200 moving average, even though it just had a death cross. We're about to have a golden cross with a daily on the 20 over the 50. Things looking pretty good for this one. It does have a pretty, you know, strong trend line up here. This should be a fair level of resistance around $1.50, $1.60. That, that still means you have a good opportunity to make some profit, but don't expect anything parabolic as far as Dogecoin, Sheeb, or anything like that. This is still a good play. Again, I'd be looking to day trade this, not really swing it too much, just in case Bitcoin does take more of a tumble if war is declared by Russia. That'll definitely do some, um, some issues. What I'd be looking at right now on the 15, not as nice as the previous one. There we go. Some consolidation going on. If we do see a breakdown, I would like to, like to short this if it did break down below the trend line and the 50 moving average here on the 15 minute chart. That would make my life a lot easier. If you go over here to the hour chart, you can see it's going to be due for a drop here pretty soon. I, if you guys want to go long on it for a day trade, I would wait for it to break down. And then from there, maybe you can buy it around $1.10 or so. Get a seven, per, uh, 7 cent discount, excuse me. All right, everybody. Have a great rest of your day and thanks for subscribing.